John 16.21 Hegune hatan tikte lupain eche hati elthen he hora altes hatan de genese ta paidian uketi menemanue te slipsaos dia tain karan hati egenethe anthropos eston cosmon Jesus here gives his disciples a, a parable to show how grief or suffering can precede joy. And he gives the example of a woman. And in Greek, when you give a proverbial type generic example, you use an article. In English, we would say a woman when she gives birth or women when they give birth. But in Greek, you would say, hey, gune. But it would sound really weird in English to translate it, the woman when she, get, when she gives birth. So we're going to translate it with an A. This is a generic use of the article, but we'll use an indefinite article in English. So a woman when she gives birth, and of course, yes, this is subjunctive. We could go, ah, ah, ah. there are quite a few subjunctives here following markers, so we won't, we won't alarm them all. A woman, when she gives birth, has sadness because her hour has come. But when she births the child, right after, after she has birthed the child, no longer does she remember the tribulation or the suffering because of the joy. What do you mean the joy? Well, that a person has been born or has been begotten into the world. As we noted, there are several markers here of the subjunctive. I guess we could have paused. There was really just, there were really just two, these hatons. We follow the subjunctive. We expect an aorist uh, most of the time. And there's one right there. We know it's aorist because there's a sigma. Right, this is just an aorist active subjunctive, and that's a third person singular. But when she births the child, when she gives birth to the child, this one here is a present. The first first one following hatan ah, 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 is going to be present. It's a present active subjunctive, third person singular of the verb tikto. Tikto means to give birth, to be in labor and give birth. It's used uh, most frequently with a female subject, obviously, but occasionally, uh, looked in BDAG, um, occasionally it says it's used uh, with a male subject, although I've never, I don't remember a passage where it, where it has been used that way. Genao, interestingly, is frequently, most frequently, overwhelmingly used with a male subject, especially in genealogical passages. So and so beget, so and so beget, so and so beget, so and so. But here we see that it is also used with a female subject.